Hey everybody, welcome back to BK's Bullets. Today we're going to be unboxing this The Batman, Batman Funko Pop. Hey everybody, welcome back to BK's Bullets. Today we're going to unbox this The Batman, Batman Funko Pop. Before we get started, let me ask you to please do one thing. Help me out and subscribe. Helps the channel grow, lets you know when I drop new videos, all that good stuff. I'm aiming for three videos a week. Trying to get back on schedule now that we are in the new house, in the new man cave. Sorry if it's a little echoey, but it is a big room and I don't have enough carpets yet. So, The Batman. So, <clears throat> I picked this up at my local comic shop last week. They have a bunch of variants out here. Um, I picked this one because it was the most kind of like plain looking one, I guess. There's one I saw, I think there's like a couple of exclusives. I don't know if it's GameStop or Amazon or the Funko store, but I know my comic shop did have one, which I did not see um, advertised elsewhere when these when they announced these, but his um, he was like shooting two grappling hooks out of his arms. And I was like, that's interesting, but I really just want one to show off the, the costume here. Um, so that's what I picked out. I picked out the regular, kind of most regular Batman here. Um, because you could see like all the elements of his costume. There he goes. Boop. Ah, uh, Funko Pop. So he does survive the small drop test. Um, but yeah. So I think the most prominent thing on this Funko Pop for this Batman figure is the stitching on the cowl. I mean, obviously... The head is the biggest part of every Funko Pop. Um, the stitching on the cowl is very prominent. I would say maybe a little bit over-exaggerated, but it could be the style too. Um, this is something on the cowl that when I first saw it, I thought was interesting. Um, I'm not sure if I like it or not, because I think it doesn't contrast well. Like, I mean, we'll talk about it in the movie, but like the rest of the bat suit looks like real you know, made for real body armor, all that type of shit. Doesn't look as homemade as the cowl does. So it's just kind of a weird contrast of like this very detailed um, chest armor and stuff he's got. And then like this kind of like stitched leather cowl, as cool as it does look, maybe on the Funko Pop is a little more exaggerated. But um, this guy feels a little light, lighter than some other ones. I don't know, maybe I haven't I haven't handled a Funko Pop in a while, in like a month since I packed them all up uh, to move over here, but uh, I've never noticed this like yellow stripe on the boots before in any of the shots, so that's interesting that they're highlighting that. Um, let's do the full turnaround. Here's the cape. Again, I got to hand it to Funko for not recycling any poses or anything like that, or any molds. I mean, obviously, this is a little bit different because the bat suit has all these details and indentations things like that um it's got you know a little bit of paint on the belt there with the gray the gray on the uh, whatever these things end up being i don't know if they're like arrows or tools or lock picks or whatever he's got them on both whatever whatever those end up being in the movie those are painted nicely it's got a little detail over here i can't tell if there's any on the back um because the cape covers it, but, you know. Also, not a bobblehead. I'm not a fan of the Funko bobbleheads. Um, I packed all my Funkos up, and I haven't unpacked them all yet. I'll probably do it after I do this video and another one. And um, the bobbleheads, I'm wondering if they come out, because I think I've dropped them or something, and then they've, like, twist. the spring is twisted and turned. I know a lot of the Star Wars ones, and I think a lot of, all my Iron Man ones are bobbleheads with those springs. I just prefer, like, a regular damn Funko. Does he stand up? He does. Fantastic. So I think it's a cool little Batman uh, Funko Pop. Go check him out. Uh, like I said, there are a bunch of poses and some variety. So if you don't like this one, maybe you will like one of the other ones. Um, he's pretty pale, as is, um, oh, what's his face? Robert Pattinson, the Battinson. Um, so I guess that fits. So I can't wait to stand him up to all my other Batman movie Funko Pops. That's why I picked them up. Um, I'm pretty much determined to pick every Batman movie Funko Pop, um, at least one from each film. Like, I'm not going to get the other poses or anything. I'll just have one representation. Um, but if he gets another costume later in the movie and they get a Funko Pop of that later on, I'll, I'll pick that up too. Um, 
I think the one I'm waiting for them to make is the sonar suit from Batman Forever. They made the ice suit for crying out loud. They can make the uh, sonar suit from Batman Forever. So there you have it. The Batman Funko Pop unboxing. I think he's cool. Um, let me know what you guys think down below, and we will see you guys next time here in the Funny Pages.